This is Mike. Today I'm going to show you a video with myself and my faithful dog, Makwa. We're going to go for a canoe ride on the Bay of Green Bay, Wisconsin. And that is big water. If you haven't seen uh, any of the Great Lakes, you know, you're talking about water that can be as, you know, with weather and waves, it can be as big as, as the ocean. So we're going to start out looking at the sunrise coming up, and then we're going to see the weather change very quickly. Within 30 minutes, we go from a very calm surface to waves on top of waves. And in the, about the middle of the video, I'm going to show you some techniques for how to canoe in an open water canoe, not a kayak, but in an open water canoe, some tacking techniques so that you don't take waves on sideways that can swamp your canoe. So some safe, uh, well, hopefully safe, approaches to canoeing in big open water especially when the wind starts to get strong and the waves start coming at you. Here we can see Green Bay out at Swamico. The surface of the water is pretty nice and smooth. You can see there's my collie Makwa ready to go. We've got the canoe, that's a Golden Hawk canoe, all ready to go. And then here we have out in the water, this is probably about 10 minutes later, you can already start to see some swells coming and we've got a bit of waves on top of waves and the wind is building up as well. And we're going to see in a few minutes here, uh, and we can see the sun rising beautifully. It's a beautiful morning really. It could only be better if we were catching some great fish. And then Soon enough, we'll see in the video where the waves get even bigger and I'll start to point the canoe into the waves and uh, paddle into the waves and into the current. So, most of you probably know this already, but when you're in windy, wavy conditions like this with a pretty strong surface current, pretty soon these waves are start to turn to white cat. So you got waves on top of waves, swells. So you don't want to take this kind of thing on sideways. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually heading there. So I'm going to tack. I'm going to go this way into the wind and then tack back in, back to where I want to go. So I'm not going to try to go sideways because obviously you can see that would be the temptation would be to paddle sideways, which you can do, but it's risky. If a wave builds up or if you get a rogue wave, you capsize your canoe. You can see that I'm using a kayak paddle in this canoe. This is a kayak paddle that I actually made myself because I'm tall and this canoe is wide. So I have to have a paddle that's quite a bit longer than you can buy commercially. So I made it so it would be longer. It would be hard to paddle in this kind of wind with just a regular paddle. Of course it can be done, but you know, solo, it's just a lot faster to be able to paddle with a kayak paddle than to be paddling with a uh, standard single blade paddle especially solo under these kind of conditions where you know my I'm riding a little bit low in the back but it's handling it pretty well we haven't taken on any water really Well, of course. All right, so here's the course I've been, I've been on. There's where I want to go. And you can see I'm taking on these waves. They're about this angle you can see here. I don't, it doesn't seem I have to go straight into them. So it seems to be a fairly safe angle, safe trajectory. And now I'm going to turn and head toward my destination. 
I've been tacking like this for a while now, so there we go. We'll see how this goes. And if I find that these waves are not a good angle for safety, then I'll redirect and start to tack again. You see the angle I've taken here. This is a little bit riskier than going into the waves at this angle because my back end is is a little bit uh, heavier. My stern is uh, is a little bit deeper. Now this canoe has a an elevated transom on it, which allows me to take waves from behind, waves of my stern a little bit uh, better than uh, than most canoes. In sailing, this would be called a broad reach. That's where the you know, the waves are kind of hitting my uh, port, in this particular case, my port and uh, stern. So you, know, you can see that the waves are kind of hitting me at this angle here. So we'd, in sailing, that'd be a, a broad reach. And uh, that's still a fairly safe angling canoeing, I think.